Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So here we go, the third video in a series of 21 on scientific measurements. Today we're going to be talking about what is a meniscus. So, bam! What is a meniscus? So a meniscus is a curvature of a liquid in response to its interaction between the container and itself. That container is typically glass for us here in chemistry, and itself would be whatever that liquid is. So water and water, mercury and mercury, okay? So here's an example of two menisci, if you will. The one on the left-hand side is mercury, and you notice that that meniscus has a special shape to it. Mercury is quicksilver, okay? And then the other meniscus on the right-hand side is an aqueous solution, so water, for example. Okay, with a mercury meniscus, like a mercury thermometer or a mercury barometer, the meniscus is convex, and that is it's curved like this right here. And you're going to read the top of that meniscus of a mercury meniscus. Okay, with a liquid or aqueous meniscus, other than mercury, it's more likely going to be aqueous, and you will have a concave meniscus like this. And you're going to read that bottom of that meniscus, okay? A proper reading of a meniscus is essential for chemistry and knowing what volume measurement you actually have, okay? So, I am the crazy hat chemist, and this is like kind of crazy hair. I don't know if you know, but years and years ago, when I first started teaching chemistry, when I had hair, I actually would dye my hair a different color, and I called it Crazy Hair Friday, now, I don't have very much hair, so I have to resort to hats. So, if you like that video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you for the next video. Bye now.